Pitches. With pitch, which rhymes with wild. The runners move up and buckle up, everybody. One batter later, they're loaded, and Mitch... Walks in the go-ahead run, 4-3 Expos. Then he walks the next batter, it's 5-3, and Mitch says, beg your pardon, I thought that was a strike. Astros rally, bottom 12th, down 5-4, men on first and second. Ken Caminetti, deep to left. Just off the top of the wall. Finley scores to tie it. Jeff Bagwell comes around, and there's no throw. No throw to the plate, Mitch gets bailed out. Welcome to the world of the wild thing, Houston. He got a huge ovation when he came in and was being booed by the end. Williams said afterwards, it didn't bother me. Maybe if I go out and give them something to cheer about, they'll cheer. Daryl Kyle got the call. Moise Salou in the third, facing Kyle and Alou. Takes him out of the yard. Not an easy thing to do with the Astrodome, and he goes the other way as well. Expos up three to one. Now Kyle would have some control problems. The wild pitch. The wild pitch. The hat trick of wild pitches. Larry Walker able to score off that third wild pitch. Sixth inning. Mike Lansing at the plate. He would triple. That would score Marquise Grissom as part of a three-run inning, and the Expos cruise for the win. Kirk Reeder remained perfect, 9-0 and in nine career decisions. The major league record for most consecutive wins by a starter to begin a career 12 by George Wiltz of the New York Giants back in 1904. Got a man on via the base on ball. Chaz 0 for 10. There goes the runner. There's the ball hit off the line into the left field corner. The Cubs are going to be on the scoreboard as Sanchez doubles the left with the hit run on. Win. He should have won two of his three starts after his and the one two delivery to Fletcher. Struck him out. And that'll end the inning. Six strikeouts. There's the pitch drilled in the left field, way back there. One run's going to score, a base hit. Another runner around to third base. And the Cubs are on the board early. Base hit down the third base line. It's going to be extra bases. And Walker pulls up at second base. He hits the ball to all fields, of course. There's a little tap. Wilford cannot make it play. There, the base hit game tie. And Mark Grace came through with a game tying hit on the very first pitch. Oh, this is deep enough, maybe. Watching this guy's got a great arm. Here's the race. Here's the throw. He is saved. The Cubs have taken the lead. Walker sets up. Now watch him. He catches the ball, throws it with one step. You don't see that. This throw is right on the money. Look Terry Tater right there in position. You can't fault him there, and he's safe. He's safe right there. Cubs win. Cubs win. We'll be back in a moment. Here's the throw. Here's the slide. And he is safe. And the Cubs win 4-3. to three. The Budweiser play of the game. The Cubs now have a two-game winning streak. Will Cordero. The flair. Darren Fletcher scores. Say goodbye to Guzman. Say hello to Blaze Ilsley. Blaze. Marquise makes him El Fuego. Brings in Sean Barry, Mike Lansing. They scored five in the sixth. Catch of the day. Rick Wilkins in the seventh, a high pop, buries underneath it, leans, leans, retrieves. Expos win it by the final of oh, eight to two. Hill allowed one run, four hits through seven, six and oh in April starts covering the past two seasons. Bottom of seven, four three Reds, runners on the corners for the Expos. Chuck McElroy pitching. Ball gets away from Oliver. Larry Walker scores. We're tied at four. We move to the top of the 11. Still tied. Gil Heredia pitching. Tries to pick off 
Jacob Brumfield at second. Gets caught in the rundown. Brumfield safe at third. Then with one out, drawn in infield. Thomas Howard, base hit to right, scoring Brumfield. 5-4 Reds. Ready is still pitching in. Brian Dorsett, you betcha. Two-run shot. First of the year, the Reds win. The Reds totaled 15 hits. Hal Morris gets his 500th career hit. Tom Browning allowed two runs and six hits in five innings of work. Mitchell Vass, a total breakdown on the breaking ball. Next batter, and he comes in high and tight on Reggie Sanders. Don't forget that pitch. Then Sanders goes down on strikes. Next victim, Roberto Kelly. Pedro strikes out the side. Martinez cage seven through the first six. The Expos offense, Pedro would need a little of that. Darren Fletcher, 211 average, no home runs. Rijo, the blast. Fletcher actually hit two home runs in the game. Rijo, eight innings pitched, five hits, two runs. Back to Martinez. Got a strong support system, not only on offense, but defense as well. Al Morris to right. Larry Walker lays out in the gold glove catch. Martinez perfect through seven. Trying to become the second Martinez to throw a perfect game in the 90s. Dennis did it in 91, but El Pedro, El Imperfecto. High and tight, and he nails Sanders this time, and he charges. We got a bench clearing brawl. That was an 0-2 pitch with a guy going for a perfect game. The perfect game is gone, so is Sanders. Martinez says, no way I was trying to hit him. He stays in, stays composed. Kelly goes fishing. The no-hitter still intact. Top of the ninth, fans on their feet. Brian Dorsett, the leadoff man. And Dorsett rips one through the gap. Martinez gets a hand and gets pulled. John Wetland comes on in relief to what Expos. Al Morris, the little shallow fly. Thomas Howard is on third. He tags. A loose throw. Is it in time? It's a 2-2 game. Martinez on the bench will not figure in the decision. Bottom of the ninth at Hector Carrasco. Lou Frazier, the blue pit. It scores Tim Spare, who comes in with a game-winning run. In a wild game, the Spurs prevail 3-2. Fletcher, Darren, the hitting hero, dominated by pitching. He went 4-4. Four for four. First four-hit game of his career. Martinez struck out eight in the game and walked only one. Who is this guy? He has started only five games. Bottom of sixth. Rockies lead it 3-2. Ellis Burks. Launch one to right. Larry Walker can't get it. Charlie Hayes will score. The relay throw cannot be handled. You know what that means? Inside the park, Homer for Ellis Burks. Say the Rockies win 9 2. The first inside the Parker in Rockies history. Colorado snaps its. And uh, Digger the Dinosaur, that's on again. Top five tied at three. Moise Alou, deep and unplayable. Two run Homer, 5 3 Expos. Bottom of the seventh, 5-4 Spose. Charlie Hayes off Mel Rojas, who might be going to the Yankees. The Blue Jays, somebody. Scores Bichette, retired at five. Bottom ten, tied at five again. Ellis Burks off Gil Heredia. Money shot. The ball game is over. And who's the first guy at the plate to welcome Burks? Manager Don Baylor. Why? Because though the first place dreams were put on hold, Judy Tenuta says it could happen. The Rockies are above 500 for the first time ever. They're six and five, and there's more bad news for Montreal. John Wetland came out of this game with a strained right hamstring. Well, Bottom of the first gets Robbie Thompson to go fishing for the strikeout. Two hitters later with McGee on second. Matt Williams fooled by the changeup. Career high, 10 Ks for Martinez, but he was wild. Another hit batsman plunking Kurt Manwaring. He hit two batters on the night. Bottom of the ninth. Expos up 1-0. Felipe Alou doesn't have John Wetland, who's on the DL. And Jeff Shaw faces Barry Bonds to right center, and the ballpark would not hold it. What a clutch hitter. Fifth of the year, retired at one. Extra frames. Bottom of the 11th, still 1-1. Bonds works a walk. Todd Benzinger, the hitter. Bonds going. Steals second. MVP. Then after Benzinger draws the intentional walk, he's off again, stealing third. Putting the pressure on. Mark Carrion, pinch hitting for the pitcher. 
goes down and gets the game-winning hit, the single to right. What an effort by Bonds to put the Giants in position to win it. Carry on was hitting for Mike Jackson, who retired all five. He faced suck. Montreal getting some great defense from a guy who's done it before. Marquise Grissom robbing Mark Carrion. Grissom also a stolen base in the game. one nothing Expos bottom of the fourth. Matt Williams off Denny Boucher. Sixth homer. The solo shot tied it. Then in the fifth, it's 2-1 to one Expos. Mike Lansing singles. Freddie Benavides, you shouldn't test the arm of Barry LaVar Bonds. You, you're not safe. Top of the ninth. Game tied at three. Dave Burba on in relief. Moises Alou, three hits in the game. This is the big one. Opposite field, solo homer. Makes it one. Oh, light night at the Murph. Expos and Padres highlight. Let's play Guess the Attendance. Think, Jeff Fasaro. Think. The correct answer, 7095. Good seats still available for Thursday's game. Bottom of ninth, one out, 4-1 Expos. Bases loaded. Mel Rojas gets Billy Bain to ground a second. Will Cordero, the force, throws behind Rad Osmus. Sean Berry, the tag to end it. 4-2 Expos win it. Jeff Fasaro, Jeff Shaw, and Mel Rojas limit the Padres to three hits. Fasaro wins for the first time in four starts. Mosey Salou, three for four with an RBI. First, Moise Alou singles up the middle off Wally Whiters, Cliff Floyd, and Marquis Grissom scored two zips. Spos, bottom second, Padres get one back. Arky C. and Franco out of the yard is third of the year, 2 1 Montreal. But the Expos show their power to open the fifth as Floyd pulls one out of the yard, this time to right for the bomb. 4 2 Expos, next batter. Grissom the other way, you could say yard. Montreal up 5-2. They hold on to win 5-4. The pods now 3-14. and 14. That's uh, good for the worst record in the majors. They've already had losing streaks of 4, 5, and now 3. I just think it's only April. Wally Whitehurst had... The Shields out. Raul Mondesi in. And the two collide. Mondesi makes the catch. Eventually, he would go down as well. About 40,000 fans, including Dodgers general manager Fred Clare, looking on and concerned. We'll take another look. The Shields head buckles on impact with Mondesi. The Shields laying motionless and unconscious. Mondesi would be okay. He would play the remainder of the game. There's obviously all the players on the field on both squads concerned. Best friend and former teammate Marquise Grissom, the Expos, looking on. The Shields would be taken off on a stretcher, his neck stabilized. As far as the game is concerned, two batters later, the Expos had runners on first and second, and his best friend, Marquise Grissom, would step to the plate and try to concentrate. He rips a two-run triple to dead center, which Brett Butler misjudged. Clifford Floyd and Freddie Benavides would come around to score to make it 6-5 Dodgers. Expos would tie it in the ninth, and in the 11th, off Roger McDowell, Lenny Webster takes him out of the yard, giving the Expos the 8-6 win. But all thoughts were on the Shields, including that of Eric Karros. Word from the Dodgers that the Shields suffered a concussion. Tests and x-rays were negative. He will remain overnight for observation. The latest on the line of the Shields and the injury coming up Sunday. The lay Expos on the coast and runner at first, one out. Third inning, Dodgers up 2-0, Mike Piazza. Looked like a routine fly out, foul territory. Larry Walker, those Canadians are very friendly people. There, there are two outs. There's only two outs. Can I have it back? <laughs> Jose Offerman ending up at third. Larry Walker, great fielder. Just not a very good counter on this night. 7-1 the final, Estacio gets the win, Martinez Former Dodger suffers the loss. Nine innings, seven hits, one earned run for Estacio.
time he's faced them. Swift was 5-0 and with an ERA of 2 against the Expos. So what could they do against him? Well, Jeff Facero is uh, the man on the mound for the Expos. His job, hold him off the score sheet. Giants already leading a 2-1 when Kurt Manwaring in the second inning takes Facero out of the yard. 3-1. You've got to be pretty depressed if you're an Expo fan at that point, considering you're down by 2 and Swift is on the mound. Fifth inning. Here's the key play of the game. Base is loaded. A chopper. Royce Platon comes home plenty of time. Should have been able to gun the man out. One run scores. Then aggressive base running here. Sean Berry beats the throw. 3-3. Bottom of the seventh, 4-3 for the Expos. Sean Berry this time won't have to hustle. He can watch this one go. Sean Berry with an opposite field job, taking Bill Swift over the wall. 5-3 for Montreal to the ninth inning now. Mel Rojas trying to nail it away, and he does. Montreal improves to 10-10. and They're at the 500 mark. The Expos hot right now. They've won six of their past seven, by the way. Moises Alou extended his hitting streak to a personal best 13 games. Williams and Manwaring for San Francisco with home runs. Berry for Montreal. Rojas with his fifth save of the season. But uh, I was kind of shocked to read about last year when he only threw out 12 percent. Whoa! whoa. Now watch out. Joe's going to have to be careful because somebody is absolutely going to kill him this year. Struck him out. Pitch in San Diego. Wait a minute! Way. Here goes Bell. Uh -oh. Look out! Watch out. Uh -oh. We're going to have a brouhaha. Well, the Padres will...